What's up to all you beautiful people? I'm Dan Proc, and it's time to let your light shine, finding that superstar inside of you. Today we are talking about forgiveness. Why is it so important to forgive? Well, from my personal experience and having forgiveness issues in the past, until you forgive or ask for forgiveness, you are living in a chronic, habitual state of negative emotion. And when you are in those states, your light isn't shining and it affects your health in a negative way, your wealth in a ne negative way, your love life in a negative way. It affects so many areas of your life. And I'm gonna give you strategies, tools, and techniques to let those things go and live in that high vibe life where you're experiencing more joy, more happiness, more well-being in all areas of your life. You ready? Let's go. All right, everyone. So let's start out by just relaxing for a moment. If you're driving, just relax. But if you have a place to sit down and just close your eyes and just feel a sense of peace, take in a nice deep breath and breathe out. Breathe in again and breathe out. A few more nice breaths. Breathe into your heart and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Now keep breathing for a few more seconds with your eyes closed and just realize it's a very peaceful life. There's a sense of peace and well-being around you right now. And it's always there. That stillness inside of you. So take a nice deep breath and breathe out and open your eyes. Now, how do you feel? How does the present moment feel when you're at peace? Most importantly, when you're at peace in your mind. Feels amazing, right? So that's the state of being that is the natural state of the present moment. It's a state of peace. It's a state of joy. It's a state of love. It feels wonderful. But what happens when we have issues from our past that trigger the mind to have a negative emotion? And that happens chronically. That issue the way to get rid of that issue is to forgive it or ask for forgiveness and let it go. And for me, <laughs> okay, so probably about 10 years ago, even before that, uh, one of my favorite people in my world is my brother. The greatest person, funny, hilarious. We've had the best times. We went on the best vacations. We were roommates for years and years, went to college together, we had so much fun and had so many good times and so many great things. But then we got into business together and things went south. And without telling you the long story, um, we had an issue, man. And it was financial and it was that I owed him money. And it wasn't like it was a million dollars or a big amount like that, but it was big to us. And it was something that I didn't know how to solve it. And this was about eight years ago. And but my favorite person in the world, favorite person in the world, I lost him for about seven years of my life. <sighs> I don't even like talking about it now because it makes my heart go, man. Uh, but... That's why I'm making this video because I want any of the issues that you have in your life around forgiveness to let those go, to learn from the way that I dealt with this situation and was able to ask for forgiveness in order to release that negative energy within me, that chronic negative vibration that was happening in my mind and release that, let it go and get myself back to a better state of being. And once I did that, that's when more money flowed, more love life flowed, more happiness flowed. I got my relationship with my brother back, uh, which is one of my favorite parts of living as Dan Proc is having my brother. I love my brother. I love all my brothers. I love all, lots of friends, but one specific brother I spend more time with. And okay, so the issue was there. 
Now I'm going to go into a few details about forgiveness so that you can start unraveling this thing from your mind. Okay, here we go. The reason why I started off this video with that segment where we closed our eyes and got into a peaceful state of being and stilled the mind is because the natural state of being of the present moment is a state of peace and joy. But what happens when you think about that issue that happened? Here's you in the present moment. The issue, maybe it happened a week ago with your spouse or loved one. Maybe it happened a month ago with someone at work that it really ticked you off. Maybe it happened a year ago where a relative of yours did you wrong. Or maybe you did something you felt, you know, you didn't do, do the right thing or you made a mistake. Maybe you just made a mistake, but it's an issue from a year ago. What about 10 years ago? What about 20 more years ago? Okay. That, those are the issues on this timeline of life in the past. And every time that you think about that issue, you're just skipping through life with a nice smile on your face. And it's right in the present moment. You might feel pretty good about whatever's going on in life. And all of a sudden, you think about that issue from one month, one year, 10 years ago, from the past. And you take yourself, your mind takes yourself, because it's all in your mind. You take yourself out of the present moment and you take yourself into the vibration, the energy of that issue. Now, clarity, the issue doesn't exist in the present moment for the most part. You might have something going on in the current day with your husband or wife or spouse or whatever. And you're like, no, it does exist. But it did happen in the past. What about the thing that happened with your school teacher or your sibling when you were a kid that they did you wrong or hurt your feelings or someone even abused you or I've had, I've had loads of things happen to me. The one I mentioned with my brother is a big main one in my current last 10 years of my life. But I had teachers and my teacher in fifth grade did some crap to me. I had stuff with my siblings. We all have our stuff. The realization is those things don't exist in the present moment. Right now, you're happy. Right now, you could be just like you were when we started the video. Ah, peace. Oh, yeah, all is well. Everything's just fine. But the mind will habitually go back and... I'll just put little turds here. Because that's what they are. It's like you're walking through the timeline of life and instead of living in the beautiful present moment... We go back and say, oh, last week I stepped on a turd. A month ago I stepped on a turd. Ten years ago, in fifth grade, my teacher did something shitty to me. <laughs> That's basically what it is. But I'm living now. We're living now in the present moment. The past doesn't exist. The is those issues don't exist until the mind thinks about them. So that was the thing that I was habitually doing I, for years. That whole thing with my brother happened like 10, 8 years ago. Uh, but I would try to, I would think about it probably every day. I didn't realize I was thinking about it though. I would think about it all the time. I'd get in the shower and I'd like, my mind would start trying to process it. How could I pay him back? How could I figure out how to do this? What did I do wrong? Uh, and then even go through like, I, I felt like I did this wrong or this wrong. But I felt like I wasn't at, at as much fault um, because I was trying to do things right, but things just didn't go our way. Ah, oh, man, ugh, frustrated. So what was I living in? I needed to ask for forgiveness. So I was living in regret, embarrassment, shame, guilt, depression. I was living in those negative emotions. In other videos, I talk about that scale of consciousness from... Dr. Robert, or David Hawkins, I think it's David Hawkins, um, but that emotional scale, okay? I was living, every time I thought about the issue, I was living in regret, embarrassment, shame, guilt, those restrictive, constrictive, like, oh, mm, ah, ah, 
crappy emotions, low vibrations. I was habitually thinking about the issue and living that emotion over and over and over and over and over again. And it affected my wealth and well-being and everything. And then what happens? That, that's a scenario where we need to ask someone to forgive us. What about the scenario where we, we can just choose to forgive another person? Well, those issues are a little different because we feel different emotions about them. When someone does us wrong, how do we feel about them? Angry, rage, hatred, right? We feel like they did us wrong. Ugh. Still very negative emotions. But they're slightly different than the ones where we should ask for forgiveness. Okay, so this was the most interesting way that things worked out regarding me learning to forgive. There's a video that I watched. It's a guided meditation. There's a really great guy named Vishen Lakiani. He has a six-phase meditation. I'll put a link to it below this video. And I would actually sit in the shower. This was probably five or six years ago. Uh, I would sit in the shower and listen to this meditation. And it talked about forgiveness. And really having anything in life that you either need to forgive or ask for forgiveness, anything that pops up, you just either forgive or ask for forgiveness. And you do it spiritually, energetically first. So I listen to this meditation every day for about a month. And every time I'd say, who can I forgive? Who could I ask for forgiveness? And I'd go through and different people would pop up the issue with my brother. Uh, even things like God, my parents, my siblings, my friends, like all these things, life itself, things that have gone wrong in my life, things that I felt were wrong to me, things that I did wrong to other people, all these issues, okay? So I'd go through and I'd say, I forgive you, I forgive you. I'd ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness with, with all these issues. So I was clearing it up over time. It's almost like cleaning my house, my mind. It wasn't like I just did it, just one little job, you know, cleanup job. I had to go in and do some deep cleaning just on this, those issues. So I did it energetically through meditation. And then I went, and this is probably months later, I felt like I should just call my brother and ask him to forgive me. So I called him and I said, hey man, Dave. <laughs> ah, I said, Dave, uh, Buddy, I know you've had issues about with, you know, everything with business. I'll do whatever I can to pay you back. I just don't have it right now. But if I can start paying you back like 20 bucks a month or, you know, whatever I can do, I want to make things right. I want to ask you to forgive me and make things right. So <sighs> even reliving it now, it's kind of like, man. Uh, but so that happens. And we started getting along a little better, but the biggest thing that happened was with a situation that happened when I went back to Minnesota for a family reunion. And we were having a meal with one side of the family. Let me just put it like that. One side of the family's having a meal, me, my brothers and sisters. We got a big family, there's seven kids. We're there as adults and some of our cousins were there and all of a sudden something happens where some sort of issue that my relatives had with each other, that issue comes up at the table. And I wasn't aware of exactly how the issue was brought up. And I think there are layers of issues there. But all of a sudden one of my cousins is crying at the table and it's like this venom. Like the, it was the worst feeling place I've ever been in on earth by far. And it was the negative emotion going from person to person within that table. And most of the people sitting there had nothing to do with the issue, but we all felt it. And it was disgusting and gross and it felt like hell. I talk a lot about heaven on earth. It felt like hell on earth, straight up. It was the worst thing I've ever felt in my life. 
everyone's crying. It was, and I feel like the whole restaurant was probably like, the waiters and waitresses were probably like, what the heck's going on there? And they didn't mess with our table for a while. But uh, yeah, so that happens. And after that happened at the table, I said, <laughs> sitting right next to my brother, I said, David, hey man, uh, once again, I want to ask you to forgive me and I want to make things right with you somehow. And I said, I don't want anything between us to be like what we just experienced here. And he says, what's between us isn't even close to what this is. And I said, Dave, even if what we have between us is one one millionth of what we just had happen here, that's way too much. And he kind of like nodded, didn't really give me like a yay hug that I remember, but it was like, I think we both understood that, man, we need to let go of this thing. I need to let go of it. I had to let go of it in my mind and heart first. Then I had to go into the world and address the issue with that person. And then we both experienced something from both of our perspectives that we were probably like, man, this thing, we're supposed to actually be together. And over the course of time after that, we're back on track, man. And the forgiveness had to happen inside of me. I had the issue. I felt guilty. I felt embarrassed. I felt regret. I felt remorse. I didn't know how to solve the problem. Maybe the solving of the problem is asking for forgiveness. That solves the problem. And you know what? In this circumstance, it actually did. Because <laughs> maybe a year, year and a half after that, this is after five or six, seven years of not having my brother, my best friend, my favorite person on earth in my life at all. After that, actually having a scenario happen with our business that we had worked on, where we had some, some type of intellectual property uh, that we had created, and somehow we had some type of financial uh, income regarding that, and it helped right the ship. And... I believe it happened because I was able to address my forgiveness issues. So I'm encouraging you and encouraging you in a way that I must say, this must happen. One, some things you say, I encourage you, you could do this if you want. Yes, you can do it if you want, but you must do this. You must do this. And it's asking someone to forgive you in scenarios and then it's also looking at other scenarios and just saying, I'm going to forgive that person. I'm going to let it go. For me, it's like, yeah, I forgive my other brother for doing this stuff. I forgive my fifth grade teacher. I forgive this, these bullies in middle school and high school. I, I forgive these. I could go on. The list is on and on and on and on. But forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive and let those things go. Okay. So the strategy, just for a quick recap, because what we want to do here is take us from living in the present now, the issues that you have until you forgive, you would be reliving the turds of the past, living in the negative emotions of the past in the present moment, in all of this in the present moment. When we release and we forgive, forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is for you. So you can let go of the negative emotional patterns. And when those are gone, you have to elevate. You open up a space. If you maybe thought about it once a day, the issue that you have, or five times a day or 10 times a day, Maybe you're cycling through it hundreds or thousands of times a day. I believe I really was on the variety of issues that I forgave or asked for forgiveness. But until you do that, you're living in some sort of habitual negative emotion. When you release that, it opens up the space. It opens up the space for well-being. It opens up the space for peace and joy and love and passion and excitement. It opens up the space in your mind. It would be like if you kept 
stepping in poop every morning and wondering why your shoes are dirty and wondering why your shoes aren't that clean anymore and wondering why your life isn't that good. Well, because your mind keeps reliving that shit. But guess what? In the present moment, just like in the beginning of the video, and take another deep breath. In the present moment, there's peace and love and joy. Oh, here's the most important thing I'm going to say to you. It's time to take control of your mind. Your mind is not in control of your life. You are in control of your mind. Take control back. I had another friend say that to me in another circumstance, and it rang true, and it's, this is it. Your mind is not in control of your life. You are in control of your mind. You can live in the present moment of joy, love, peace, ecstasy, bliss, nirvana, heaven on earth. Ah, have just a sense of well-being to you. That's you controlling your mind. Not letting your mind slip back to the negativity of issues from the past. And when it does, you know how to have some tools and strategies to handle that. Most importantly, you can forgive. You can ask for forgiveness energetically through meditation. You can do it live to a person. Ask them to forgive you. I don't really feel like it's necessary to say, hey, I for or, you know what? Maybe it is necessary for some people that both parties know that there's an issue and you could forgive because they know they did you wrong too. And they really probably do that. You could just say, you know what, man? I forgive you for everything. I just want to clean the slate. And I want us both to live in the present moment of joy and peace and love and happiness. And that's it. Because I'm living that high vibe light lifestyle. And the last, very last point here is this. Let your light shine. Finding the superstar inside of you. Let your light shine, shine, shine. When you're shining your light, you're living in peace, love, joy. You're living the high vibe. Light is the highest of vibes. That's light. It's above all this. Pure, radiant love and light. It's the highest of all of it. So when you're living and letting your light shine, it's because you've gotten rid of that. And you're focused on this. Ah, I'm so excited for you because your life is going to get dramatically better because of this. So forgive other people. Ask people to forgive you. Step up into your greatness. It might feel a little uncomfortable because it took me months to do this. But if I can give you a blessing of having you release those issues from your past that, by the way, don't exist at all in the present moment, release those issues and maybe you get a relationship back. Maybe you get a love life back. Maybe you get a uh, friendship back. Maybe you just get a sense of well-being back because you either forgave or asked for forgiveness. Man, oh, that was a good one. That's been a conversation that I've been wanting to share with the world for years, and I'm so glad that I finally did it. Comment below, see how this video, and let us know, let me know how it positively affected your life. Like this video, share this video with anyone that you can think of that has forgiveness issues, because I guarantee you know of a lot of them. I know that I, now that I've made this video, I'm sending this thing to a lot of people that I know that have those issues too. And this helps you shine your light brighter and send more light into the world. Ah. Woo. Thank you for being here with me. I'm Brother Dan, God bless you, and we'll see you in the next video.